Hello Internet, I'm Scarecrow85, and this is Vector the Crocodile in Sonic the Hedgehog. So this is, I'm going to do a whole bunch of these right now, and I'm going to show you some different characters in Sonic the Hedgehog, because there's quite a lot of mods out there that add characters to this game, and they're great! I mean, look at this! Look at the work that's gone into this, they would have had to have ripped these sprites, presumably from, like, Knuckles Chaotix, and then modified them into this game. They obviously tidied them up a bit as well. And it looks like they've... Because the colour palette for Sonic the Hedgehog is very specific, and you have to... Your sprites have to match the palette. So they've probably borrowed a lot of these colours from the backgrounds and stuff. But also, it looks like the Badniks themselves are slightly different colours, so maybe they had to, like, adjust it slightly in order to get everything to work together. But nonetheless, look at Vector going when he's at top speed. <laughs> oh, wow, that going down a slope thing. Oh, okay, that's why, to get him go, to go around a loop the loop Doesn't quite work on a regular slope. But yeah, this is great. Now, what was Vector's ability? Could he double jump or something? I can't... Oh, it was that. There you go. He does a little shoulder barge. Pew! That's great. Oh, ugh. Robotnik's face, though. Ugh. It's a bit spooky. But there we go. Vector has passed Act 1. So, obviously, this is Sonic 1. Like, uh, the, the level, the game itself, the stages have not been altered. Apart from some slightly wonky uh, colour palette thing going on here. Um, presumably just to help the character himself fit into the game. Yeah, there's there's nothing more to it than a different character, but honestly, the novelty of that is pretty cool, especially if you are a fan of that particular character. I'm going to show you, ooh, I'm going to show you several characters uh, in this video. Uh, I'll include who they are in the description at the bottom of your screen now, underneath this video. Oh, I'm going to do it like a, oh, I can do it down. Oh, and an upward one. Oh, nice. Oh, check it out! So, by, it's sort of like a double jump, he can go straight up. I'm pressing jump twice. Oh no, we want to get rid of a shield. Shields are flickery, you don't like shields. I can spin dash. I can shoulder barge. Oh, I can chain them together as well, like a homing attack. I don't know if it homes though, mind you, but still. I can jump straight up. Woo! Ah, oh, this is a great mod! I'm gonna actually... Whoa, hang on. Whoop. Hey, I saved it! With a shoulder dash. Ah, oh, damn, guys. Oh, boo! <laughs> Sorry, Vector. That was a good sprite. <laughs> wow, this is a great mod. This is, I'll, I'll be honest with you, like sometimes there are, uh, character mods can be a little bit shonky, um, but this one has a lot of polish to it. They've obviously put a lot of time into this. Got a pushing animation there, they got additional. Oh, I love it when they manage to get different gameplay elements in, like he can actually spin dash and sh uh, uh, the other stuff that I mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to do commentary and play at the same time, what can I say? <laughs> but it is wicked, I just, I can't get over it, it's so cool. Um, so yeah, if you are a fan of Vector, as I am, Vector is amazing, uh, definitely check this mod out, it's quite literally just called Vector the Crocodile in Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just him, but it's worth playing through Sonic again just to have a bit of fun with the character. And I do wonder what the sprite of Vector looks like at the end of the game when you complete it. Um, I don't know whether they've done anything special for that. I imagine they probably have, given how much detail they've gone into here. I'm probably not going to spend as long on every character just to cram everyone in. I'm playing quite a lot of this with Vector, but I'm having so much fun to can go! Um, if you like Vector, if you're keen on the dude, keep an eye on my channel. Maybe there's something Vector related happening here relatively soon. Oh. Ray the F Squirrel. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay, right. I can tell straight away that this sprite was ripped from Sega Sonic the Head. What is he doing? That, mmm. Mmm. Oh. Okay, pressing up plays his pushing animation. Interesting. Ah, oh, but look at that! Interesting. It's it's a little bit wonky. It's not quite knuckle. It's not. It's more like knuckles is gliding. Uh, Knuc knuckles is knuckles knuckles gliding. It's like knuckles gliding, only more rigid. Like he he can turn around instantly as well. There's no animation frame for like turning. So knuckles takes a little bit of time to change direction, whereas Ray's instant, which I quite like. <laughs> um, I wonder if he has a spin dash. Let's try spin dashing. Oh, hang on. Got to get rid of the buzz bombers. Tell you what, Badnik density in the classic games was pretty hectic. Okay, right, there's no spin dash, but... Yeah, that gliding's pretty sweet. I like it. Ooh. And they have covered the major... Whoa. They have covered the majority of possible animations for him, like going on the spring. 
So that's nice. I always appreciate that. I remember mm, not that long ago, really, uh, downloading some Metal Sonic uh, character modifications. And when you went round to loop the loop, the diagonal frames for Sonic, uh, for, for Metal Sonic, went back to being Sonic, albeit with a Metal Sonic kind of color palette. So he, his eyes were red. Um, you know, the white bit of his eyes was black. Uh, so he, he, it was like they didn't replace the whole sprite, they just changed its colour and, I don't know, maybe hoped you wouldn't notice? Um, and he just kind of felt like maybe if they'd spent a little bit more time on it, it would have been a bit better. Uh, oh look, we haven't hit the ground yet. <laughs> Let's not go into a vomit-inducing special stage. Ooh. Oh, look at the end panel! Yay! Woo! <laughs> uh, I assume it's still Robotnik that we're playing against in this. I should have had a look at the um, end panel before I spun it, but, um, because you never know, sometimes with these mods they actually do throw in a few extras, uh, and like, they'll, they'll chuck in a different enemy or something. Um, but now this one looks pretty straightforward, it's Ray the Flying Squirrel in Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Ooh, that was a heavy drop. Huh. I don't suppose that hurts enemies if I do that on top of them either. Let's find out. I suspect it was going to hurt me. Ooh, that's pretty good. I think I might just clear the stage. Oh no. I thought I was going a lot faster than I actually am. <laughs> Uh, bonk. Yeah, no, it hurts. Ah! So this is one for a certain, a certain gamer out there. Let's let's put this one out to the nerds. Who remembers Chip's Challenge? <laughs> look at him go! So for those of you who don't know, ah, look how low his jump is. This is insane. I'm gonna get killed immediately. Hang on. Ah! <laughs> Right, okay, well, oh my god, just to, just to clue you in, Chip's Challenge was a game that released for real early versions of like Windows and stuff, and it was basically a game with this character, and these were his animate. he wasn't animated, like this is it, this is what he looked like, this is exactly how he moved. There wasn't a jump, um, it was kind of like a top-down type thing, and it was a puzzle game, he just pushed stuff around. We used to play it at school, on our school computers, that was as close as we got to playing video games, it was, I don't know, like a logic puzzle type thing. And, yeah, if you died, there was a voice clip that went, Bummer. And you got this kind of message that would come up. <laughs> and that, <laughs> this mod is amazing, because I don't think it's doable. But it's worth it for that gag. Oh my days, I was not expecting that at all. Guys, look, whoever did this, you are my hero. Right, last one. Who's it going to be? It's Kirby. Difficulty? Wait, what? Beginner easy, normal insane. I mean, normal, I guess? <laughs> Wasn't expecting a difficulty setting. What does that mean? Hey, look at this! <laughs> ooh, ooh! Oh, okay, we get one jump. Sorry, one double jump. Ooh, okay. I want, oops. I love his jump animation. <laughs> he looks like he has no control. Ah! Right, so we looks like we can do Kirby's trademarked oh, sucking. Wait, how did I do it? Is it Ah ooh! Okay. <laughs> okay. Just sort of sucks everything towards you. You can't borrow their abilities or anything, a la actual Kirby games, but it does destroy stuff, so that's cool. I like that they got that item box as well. Come here, you. <laughs> I think he should eat the little animal buddy that comes out. Oh wow, this is great! I mean, this is what I'm talking about when I talk about really good uh, modifications. Oh, look at that! It, it adds gameplay. Like, this is this is not only wicked because it's a great little mod, and it's cool to see Kirby in Sonic just because it is, but to actually, like, the way this has changed the gameplay... Oh, look at him rolling! <laughs> look at him go! Ooh, hang on a minute. What do these item boxes do? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Boing. <laughs> What do you do? What do you do? Oh, it's actual life. I was going to say, they've got question marks on them, so I'm like, what is it? I suppose they're nothing different to what was already there. That's fine. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! <laughs> but it makes it worth playing Sonic again. I mean, I'm not... Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. It's always worth playing Sonic. Let's just make that completely clear. But... It, it, you know, it, it's just it's a new experience, is what I'm saying. There's something. Haha, <laughs> lean in! 
playing through, that mods like this just add a bit of life to the game. Like, I've played Sonic 1 a million times, but I've never played it as Kirby, and it's one thing to just replace the sprite of Sonic with Kirby, because then you're playing it and you're going, huh, it's funny seeing Kirby do this. And that's fine, I like that, I approve of that, That's that still appeals to me. <laughs> um, it does make it kind of more interesting, but to actually, like, throw in some new abilities and stuff... Hey! Oh, I keep getting that. Whoop, there we go. But to actually have Kirby's abilities, or even if they're... That, these are not quite the exact abilities Kirby has, but they're different enough to make this... A thoroughly engaging little experience, and it makes me genuinely want to play more of this. Um, I can I can very much see me in my uh, in my own time actually giving this a go, see if I can beat the game. Oh no! Have some of that gulp. Because, um, like I say, it's more than just a novelty once you start adding gameplay elements, and uh, yeah, it is very weird. Yay! I really don't. I'm quite, I'm sort of half tempted to go into a special stage just to see Kirby like doing that <laughs> constantly. <laughs> I think I won't ever get the image out of my head, and then I won't be able to sleep. So, yeah, no, we'll mm, maybe not. What's that? Ah, I wonder if I stop, like if I suck and then stop. Yeah, it lets them go. I wonder if I can actually get hurt by doing that. That'd be bad. Uh, uh, yep, I can. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I actually, I'm gonna go and confront Eggman, Dr. Robotnik, because I want to know if I can use the suck ability on a boss. <laughs> I suspect I can't, but I'd be very interested to see what actually does happen. Uh, there's an invincibility before the boss as well. Shall I get it? Yeah, I probably should. Ah! Colin Bennett. Yeah, I forgot there's a few holes in the ground on the way there as well. Right, that's the invincibility right there. Alright, Dr. Robotnik, let's see what you got. You weren't ready for this. <laughs> come, on. come on. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, nope. <laughs> okay, so fighting Robotnik is basically the same. Like, you can't... can't suck him up. Just as well. Cool, can you imagine? <laughs> also... I mean, I do. I kind of wish they would add Dr. Robotnik to Smash Brothers, because I really want to see what Kirby would look like. <laughs> if he absorbed Dr. Robotnik. Oh no, he'd have a great big moustache. I need it. I need that in my life. <laughs> right, anyway, thanks for watching. This has been... Ow, painful. There we go. This has been uh, a video on some interesting mods that add different characters to Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Thanks for watching. I hope it was of interest to you. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking of downloading and giving any of these a try yourself or if there's anything else you'd like to see me demonstrate on the channel. Again, thanks for watching um, and I will see you next time.